Hello, good day, everyone. Corey here coming in on August the 1st, 2023. This is the full moon energy update um, for this full moon in Aquarius. So we have a full moon in Aquarius that's happening. It is a super moon. If you did not see it last night, oh my God, if you couldn't unsee it, if you couldn't see it or if it was behind the clouds or you just were sleeping and missed it, oh, try to check it out tonight on the first. It was golden. It was glowing. To see it come through was so amazing. Now we did have in Alberta, we had all these storm warnings before and there was some big hail that fell. Um, and then all of a sudden I'm driving back from Drum Heller and I can see all this big clouds coming in, this big energy coming in, and then it dissipated and it went away. And so we didn't fully get hit with it. Now, this leads us into this full moon in Aquarius energy. And so this full moon in Aquarius energy says there is a lot of kind of close call kind of energy that's with it. This moon does come with some harvesting time with it. It ties into uh, a lot of there's a lot of mystical, magical. For me, Aquarius energy, and when I pick up Aquarius energy and Aquarian energy, is that it is it brings in a level of uh, of mysticism. It brings in a level of um, mystery, unknown, but a really magical. So there is a lot of mystery to this full moon energy, the unexpected, expect the unexpected kind of thing, but. But don't be waiting for things to unfold. There's a lot of close call energy. You may be experiencing a lot of close calls, but you know how when you're like, oh my God, I almost got hit. And people say, oh, I almost got hit in a car or somebody almost hit me or someone almost hit into my, ran into my car. But did they actually run into your car? No. So we go to that sense of it almost happened instead of saying, it's like it didn't happen at all. I, you know, it was, there was, it never happened. And so there's a lot of close call. So instead of saying it almost happened to me, that gives us a, a rite of passage to have this like level of a reason to fear, or to be panicked or to, oh my God, what if this could have happened? But it didn't happen. So instead, see the blessing. This, this miracle happened today. This, this amazing experience happened today that really stopped something from entering into my field and, and entering into my life. Something stopped. So the guardians, so the guardian angels are hugely here with us today on this full moon. There is a big call for the guardian angels and the guardians are here to really, truly um, shine this big light up on why they are, why they were given to us and why we have the guardian angels with us, why they're here to work with us all the time. And to be able to experience this sense of knowing that, you know, it's they, there's a lot of things that could happen in our lives that have not happened. And there's we should be really grateful for those experiences the way that they have not, because and to say thank you to our guardians and to our to our spirit guides, to those who have who the in divine interventions. So that these divine interventions that say, you know what, this came into your wheelhouse to say, slow down to pay attention. This, you know, we stopped this once, but if you keep going on the track you're going, then this could happen again. If you're not looking, if you're not looking with your peripheral vision, if you're not seeing what's on the sides of you to the right, to left, sorry, I'm in a blurred screen, but we're in my bedroom. I have family visiting. Uh, and so I, so I moved my computer into my bedroom. And so we're in my bedroom. I didn't really want to expose my bedroom here today that much, but it is a beautiful space. <laughs> And so this energy and this, this shift, I, I don't know, I can't work with it behind me. So, excuse me, but I have to really truly take this blur out of our video. It feels very fake to me and I don't like fake. Ta-da, there we are. Okay, I can't work with that because it just creeps me out. Okay, so, so this, you know, these close calls, this energy saying, you know, this didn't happen. So the blessings, it's like, okay, so if I'm, if I'm say, if the, if I'm being saved from this now, or I'm being, this is being brought into my awareness, then, you know, maybe it's time for me to slow down. Maybe it's time for me to see all things. Maybe it's time to change my perspective. Maybe it's time to change your language, to change how you speak about the life that you're even existing in. And the moment you change the way that you communicate your life, the way that you communicate the world that you're living in is the day that everything, the world that you live in changes. It just happens. 
because you're no longer telling the same story. It's like if you say, I was so blessed today with the amazing guardians or something that just stepped in that projected and changed my life, that kept me safe. I was kept so safe today. I was kept so guided today. I was kept, I was in such a, a divine, I was in such an angelic bubble that this did not happen to myself, to another, this, right? Instead of creating the experience that, that gives us more reason to fear it, it is time to start creating the experience through our own use of our language, how we see things, how we look at things in a more beautiful way so that we can start to create a more beautiful existence within ourselves, less fear, less living from the survival state or the fear state and starting to live from the, from the blessings, starting to live from gratitude. And when we can live from gratitude and we can live from the blessings is that this shift, this energy really truly says that we are now starting to live beyond that which could be, that which could happen because that's the past. That past is no longer here, I'm here. And if you're here, you're safe and sound, then nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened, you're here. And so this is where you are. And that doesn't change the real things that are happening in our lives that have happened. And then we, we, we exist in doing what we need to do when they really do happen. But if they never happened, why do we, why do we give it such life to keep it alive? What does that serve? How's that serving you? How does that serve you? Right. And, and so it's our, it's our survival instincts. It is our existing from our being able to self-manipulate ourselves, like fool ourselves, trick ourselves. It's also from our victim self. It is from all of these other archetypal energies that we have in the way that we communicate that energy through. So how we communicate what matters. And it's time for us to really shift that. That's huge with this moon, huge. Because what we, what we reap, right? We, if we start to, what we sow, what we reap, like that language that we, that we use. So if we look at it in a new energy and a new way, if we can shift our own language, we also then shift the energetic, the, the, ener the energy around it. We're not swimming in that. And that's a big part of what's with this moon and what we have with this moon coming up. Now, this one was a bit, um, it felt like it was a bit of a delay. And I also didn't want to just bring in, you know, my own personal experiences that are happening. So I'm really asking the guardians to speak through this for me because the guardians witness everything that we're doing. And so as the guardians witness our experiences, the garden, the guardians also exist in the energy of all that is shifting, all that is changing within all of the cycles. And so our guardians, I tell you that as we move forward into August, we will have we're, you know, we will have some close calls with some really heavy energy. We have a lot of retrograde energy that's happening. That's going to really try to trick us into the past. And so I feel like this is a bit of our monthly energy as well, but I will re-record the monthly as well as energy as well, but it's giving us some, so the guardian saying, you know, we're, we are going to meet this energy. The guardians really want you to know and tie into this in the way of saying you're going to meet some real big challenges this month. You're, there is going to be a lot of close calls coming up. There's going to be a lot of close energy. There's also going to be maybe what feels like some disappointment with doors closing. But as doors closing, remember, sometimes they may just say, get your fingers out of the way, stop, get your fingers out of the door so we can shut the door and, and not, not let your fingers get stuck in there because that's going to hurt a lot more than you stepping back and letting the door close because there's going to be doors that are closing. There's going to be endings that are going to be happening. There's a lot of things that are just saying, not everything in August, not everything with this moon is going to work out as you so think, but, but as you want it to be, but that's perfect in a lot of ways, because it, it opens space and door, ways for the guardians to move mountains for you, for the guardians to make the shifts, to, to open up another door, another path, another opportunity. So there's many things the guardians are saying, leave it to us, leave it to us. There's many things that are too big for us this month. There's a lot of, there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of planet movement that is too big. 
too big. You're going to, you may experience a lot of things that are too big to be able to even, how do I even sort through this? How do I deal with this? How do I do this? And that energy is saying, you know what? It's like, leave it to us and watch and see how miracles will unfold. And so just, you know, I know there's a different way. I know I ha I know this is giving this to me now to deal with this, to work with this, to make those shifts, to make those changes. And I can do this, but I can't do this alone. So whatever we're working through this month is to know that we're not here to do it alone. You're here because the guardians are, are, you know, you're here to do it with help by your spirit, by your higher self, by your guides, by your angels, by your guardians. And you were given those guardians at birth so that they can, they can do what is needed. But you have to ask. This is a month of being able to ask. Ask for your needs to be met. Ask for your, not your shadows needs, not here to dance with the shadows. What is my, what is my soul asking for? What is my soul needing? What is my true truth? What do I really need? And asking the guardians and the guides to bring that forth, to be the push, to stand in front of us, to stand to the front, to the back, to the right, to the left up above, down below, to be with you the whole month through. Now this moon does shine a light up on those kind of areas of where, you know, where have you been tricking yourself? Where have you been, where have you been like playing, you know, playing in the energies of believing something that you know to not be true, that you absolutely know you've had all the flags, you've had all the signs, but yet you, you just take it in, you absorb it in and you convince yourself You've convinced yourself that you're that you like it or that it's made you happy, but yet it doesn't. It's like it's like eating the bag of chips. And yet you you walk around and you may be walking around and you may be whining and bitching and complaining that you are doing that you are, you know, you have you, you don't like how you feel, you don't like your body, you're you feel yucky, you don't feel good. It's like, you know, I I once was this, I once was this, but you're not anymore. And you can't be that because you're not even that person anymore. But then you're like, but I love chips. I love chips. So I keep eating chips because I love chips. No, you don't love chips. You may think you love chips. Your mind may have told you, your old brain, everything inside of you, your taste buds may be connecting to the feeling as if this is what's fulfilling you. But what it does, it, it's a temporary satisfaction that keeps you walking on the path of being able to get to the return to the story and to be able to keep you in the, the body, the, the protection, the defense, all of those things. And the guardians are just saying, that's not really your truth. Changing your, how you communicate to yourself changes everything. I love being, I, I love the feeling of healthy. I love the feeling of feeling really good. So the things that I do that gives me temporary feeling of feeling good, is that your rebel? And are you satisfying the rebel? Is that the rebellious behavior? Is that that you think you're getting one over on somebody? Or that you're, that you're like mischievously sneaking away with something, thinking you're getting away with something as a key? Right. Like I can do whatever, you know, I can do whatever I want or sneaking away. Who is it actually fulfilling? You're dancing with the shadow. And so this moon really, truly shines a light and says, you know, be careful who you're dancing with. Be careful what you're dancing with. Be aware of those 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 things that you call those those so-called close call moments that you then say it almost happened. I was once thin. I almost had this. I almost did that. But you didn't. It never, it never happened. So if you, if you had an almost close call, but you didn't have the accident, then you never had the accident. It never happened, but you're existing in what never happened. And so is the past happening right now? No. So if the past is not happening right now, why does it have so much power and control over you? Why does it have such a hold on you? Think about it. Because the guardians are really trying to work with you with this now. They're trying to let you, let them call them in, say, you know, it's like this, what is not healthy for me, to block this from my shadow and say, you know, reflect back to me what is my healthiest, happiest of self. Reflect back to me what it is that I need. Take this addiction, take this ism take this, it is too big for me to overcome on my own. 
this repeat behavior, this repeat habit, and just allow me to trans allow this to be transmuted back to me as something a more loving way for me to connect. And so this energy and this, and they're bouncing all over the place. So I'm this is coming in from all over the place for me. So this council of guardians is not just your guardian, not just two guardians, it's the council. And it's as if they are all chattering at once and I'm trying to connect into them. And I'm trying to stay in my own little joy because I'm in a really good, happy place within my own heart at this in this very moment because I'm existing in a new experience, but they're chattering everywhere. And there's just so much joy because there's a breakthrough and an opening coming in and where there, we're going to really truly need this guardian energy to push back out a lot of this shadow energy that's going to be entering in during this full moon, during August. But this is where alchemy comes in. You can use this as an opportunity to transmute it, to, to, to walk in through your stories and travel in and figure out where they came from. Why do they have such hold? Why do I speak this way? Why do I communicate this way? Why am I always existing in this? And to travel through this and to be able to move it and to so take it as an opportunity, take it as a way to say, you know what, if, if I can walk through this, I can find my way to back and through the doors, through the life, through the opportunity that is waiting for me, that is here for me, that is just waiting for me. And so there is, this is what we have coming. And this is our moon. So there's a lot of mystery, a lot of unknown. And I got a lot more to share with you and a lot more that's coming up, a lot more that will take us into traveling through this. And I am going to go directly into sharing a card from the deck of my everyday goddess oracle cards. And I'm going to share this with you as well. So I feel a, I feel a shift from the guardians coming in and, and it's as if, I don't know, I have to continue this as I, as I shuffle through the cards. So I want to just add this in. There is something so big, I don't know what it is, that seems to be behind this moon. What's to follow after this moon that hits us hard and is say, as if to say, now, this is not a miss. This we can say has really hit us. It's really touched us. It's like the arrow. It's almost like the, the Cupid's bow and arrow hitting that heart. But I don't know exactly. Like, it's like, you will know, you will know when life shifts you. And there is a shift that is shifting us on a larger scale and on a world scale that is bigger than us. What is happening in our world is bigger than us. What is happening beyond us in like by those, by, by something beyond us. But the guardians are here to say, this all will not take place the way that they think it will, the way humans think it will. Things are about to make a big shift and a big change. And look out as it does. There's a dancing in the sky. There's a dancing in the divine, the ancient ones, the guardians, the holy realm. The saint energy is coming in so big, so large. It's saying human behavior, man trying to play God is not powerful enough to be greater than God. And there is something of greatness and on such a big scale. And this just come flying in after our first message that is behind the moon, beyond the moon, all tied into. So I think this is the monthly message as well. I feel like this may be the monthly message as well. That is following us into August, maybe even into September, but really hitting us in August. That just says, watch and see. So there is something of greatness that is unfolding and there's a dancing in the sky, uh, a war 
that shall end, a battle that has been fought for centuries, for lifetimes, lifetimes, that is now being won, fully overcome. When hell freezes over, we're about to experience a freezing over of that hell. Whatever that means, that's exactly as they are giving it to me, exactly as I'm seeing this, this is a premonition of a vision that is just appearing, opening up as I'm even speaking here, that I'm seeing, that I'm feeling, that I'm becoming a part of, as if we will we'll, get clear on what's an almost and what really happens. And when you get clear on the almost, and what has really happened, you won't, there, there is no denying because there it will be no story to create. There is no story. What is, what has happened, what shall be, what is real. You will know what has happened and what almost happened. There is no comparison. There is no, and we are about to experience somewhere within our span of our lifetime in this time of witnessing, experiencing something that will become undeniable, that we cannot deny because it will hit us and we'll see it. It's going to be vision. It's going to be something that's within our sight, something that we cannot deny, and we will never doubt that it is real again. And they're just showing me this in such a big, powerful way. So when you are given a vision and you see some, when you're given something that enters into your eyesight, like a red flag that you see, and then you try to ignore it, you can't ignore it. And then why life is not working out is because you ignored what you needed to see when you seen it, when it happened to you, when you existed in it. And when we existed, we got to walk, we got to continue to walk through what really happens. And when we don't continue to walk through it, we can't get to the other side of it. So when we ignore it, we're not able to get to where we're really truly meant to go. And we're going to have to take the hard way around where all those almost and what ifs and all of those things you can't deny what is directly in front of you you can't deny things when you see it and when you see it and it's happening and you know it it is there and it's right there and it's happening and so there is something that is just saying to us there's something that you will not be able to do but the the wars when the wars end, when we stop being at war with ourselves, when we stop dancing with the shadow, when we stop playing in this, in this, in these stories that we create to, in this energy we create to create stories and victimhood and all those things that we do, and we just get real and hardcore with ourselves and be true and authentic to that, and just say, no, that really happened. That really, I, I experienced that. I'm feeling that. I have that happening. I seen that. I, there's no denying what I seen. I know what I seen. And as a as a mystic, as a channel, as a medium, there is no denying what I don't need someone to validate it. I don't need someone to prove to me. I don't need any of that that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what else is happening. I know what I see. I know what I'm experiencing. I know what I'm hearing. I know what I'm seeing. And if somebody else does something and it's right in front of your eyes, it really happened. And it doesn't mean you got to hate on something, but it's, it really happened. And if it really happened, then I need to deal with it. And I need to deal with it now. I need to speak now. I need to say what I need to say now. I need to do what needs to be done. And there is, then there is, it's undeniable. And what is undeniable is not, oh, maybe it didn't happen. Maybe I didn't see it. We know what we've seen. The same thing in our everyday life. You know what you've seen. You know what happened. Stop denying it. Walk through it. Let the door close. Let the new door open. Get clear. Be truthful. Be honest. So there is a new level of truths that we're come, going to come into knowing. There's a new level of undeniable truths. And there is some big explosion energy. And there is some real big ass endings that will need to happen and to not be denied that begin that gives us the opportunity to like be like dropping in the explosion to break break open the bedrock right to to just break through and so it brings us through these breakthroughs so we're going to have eye opening experiences and awakenings and awareness that are things that we cannot deny within our lives within our world within ourselves 
And it's just so, it's so obvious and it's so big that we cannot ignore them. So those experiences within, whether it's on a small scale, whether it's in your own life, whether it's in your own experiences of the, of the things of the past that, you know, you got all, you clear all these stories and then you get to see the, the one thing, the two things, the few things that really did happen. And that's kind of how I've written every book that I've ever written was here's, you know, this is what really happened. These are some of the real truths, but here is all the things, all the stories that were created. Here's all the hurts. Here's all the pains. Here's all these things that arose from not dealing with things right now or by existing from stories from your childhood, still holding on to the way you think things happen as a child. This, all of those things, all of those things, I could go on forever. How something happened in your life as a child, how you think you've seen it, like say, mommy didn't give me the attention that I needed. Yeah, there's a truth to that. But what is the real truth behind it? What was it that really truly was going on? Because it ends a lot of our habits, a lot of our repeat behavior, a lot of what we're chasing in life when you can gain that clarity. So we're going to see that kind of exposure within this life. I just keep seeing this big bang exposure, like big bang, like I'm seeing the big bang again. And I'm just watching all of this stuff fall. And then there's one big truth. So I feel like there's like this falling apart of all of these little fragmented pieces to get to one truth. And as we move through this moon, as we move through this shift and then through August, I feel like it gives us the opportunity to clear the past, to clear the old energy, to clear what has been taking us on wrong paths and on wrong journeys, to get us back on track, to get us in, in place into our gratitude, our blessings, into being able to live from a new truth, from a place within our hearts, to live from love, to live within the light. And they're just like, they're, it's just like the ancient ones, like, we need a cleaning, a clearing. Uh, there, it's cl clean, clear, resolve, heal, all of those things. And it just like it's just like when and so you know when hell freezes over, well, hell is freezing over, <laughs> and whatever that means, it's like your hell stories. Your it's like it's like that and that hit hit ice frozen. You know, it's water. It freezes. Hit that with a hammer and see how it just shatters. And then there's just like little particles of water everywhere. And so there's still like little pieces will always exist, but keeping it a bay, keeping it away, letting what is light, letting what is love be bigger than the stories of the past, letting it bring us back together. And so this is going to be the beginning. It's the beginning of the end, but the beginning, but it is also a time of new beginning. So I don't know, man, I don't know what else is coming with this. But this is what I got. This is the energy I'm given. And I'm all numb down one side. I can't, like my arm, my hand, everything is tingling so bad today. Um, I'm like, I almost feel like I'm having a heart attack is what it feels like to me. But I know I'm not. But it just feels like that kind of energy is like when it's like there has to be something that just like becomes so obvious that we can't deny it. And I feel like that's kind of way this month is. It's making things so obvious to us that we can't deny it. Now, it's easy to create a story and ignore it, but it's no more ignoring, no more denying. It is time to deal. It is time to heal. It's time to resolve. It's time to clear up energy. And this time gives us the opportunity to do it. Don't miss out on it because the, the, the realms, the saints, the angels, everything is here with us for us to be able to work in this energy and to work with this energy. It is too, a lot of it's too big for us and it means give it over Give it over and allow space for allowing what needs to come in to help clear us, to help resolve, to help us make those shifts and our changes in our lives. And that's really, truly what's going on for August and for the full moon in Aquarius. And um, it's okay to live out there. It's okay to live beyond. It is time to live from spirit with spirit, one with spirit beyond and I'm telling you, there's an opening right now that is so powerful and so big. And I just feel spirit world is just entered in in such a way that we are feeling that big shift. And we got purity. We got rebirth. Zero. This is a ground zero time. And in ground zero, it's just amazing what can happen, what can take place. Oh, there can be so many experiences happening at once. But what is my true truth? What do I do? What am I not going to deny myself? And with this purity card from my deck, 
I always say, you know, there's that moment of, you know, a newborn mother gives birth to a child. She's holding her child. She's feeling the love. She's in the love. And then there's that people in the room that starts to talk and chatter and they go, oh yeah, well, there goes all your freedom. There goes your whole life. Now you're a mother. Now you can never, now there's never a moment for you again. Now you have to sacrifice everything because it's all about that child. Do you hear how many lies are in there buried in the truth? You're holding love in your arms and you will experience life. Life is going to happen. You will make sacrifices. Being a mother is a role, but you are still a woman. And if you are a young girl having given birth to a child, you're still a young girl who happened to be an experience of where you have given birth to a child, but your mind will still be young. You will still need a lot of help. You'll still need a lot of love. So instead of saying anything negative, why can't everybody just say, sit with your love, sit with your joy and hold it as long as you can before the world comes in. See the difference and hear how we can do that for ourselves and for others. Stop, pause, think, feel, connect before we speak. And that's how we start to create a more beautiful world. Much love sitting in this ground zero, sitting in this space, floating in this energy. It's a powerful time. It's going to be an even more powerful time. But bearing witness to some of the most biggest, beautiful changes and miracles and magic is what we will experience in these coming days, years, months ahead of us over the next little bit. Much love. Bye-bye.